financial outlay dedicated to fertiliser applications is the single biggest variable expense in producing successful crops. In this emerging era of climate challenges, new thinking needs to be applied to old practices regarding more efficient use of soil nutrients and fertilisers. Most available sources of crop nutrient management come from older research. A $14.6 million crop nutrition investment strategy is being applied to update the understanding and the approach. Nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium crop use efficiency, soil storage and yield responses are all under the microscope of review. One of our key focuses for phosphorus management is how soil type influences the response to fertiliser pea. So most of our knowledge has been developed on sandy surface soils or loamy surface soils and over the last five to ten years it's become apparent that our current recommendation systems don't work that well for gravelly soils, in particular the forest gravel soils. Nutrient availability is under pressure from a variety of factors such as declining rainfall, soil amelioration and evolving crop sequencing. So all of our work, all of our field experiments are designed so that we can use them for economic analysis. So our intent is to build large data sets that we can do economic analysis on as the project progresses and examine where um, the profitable responses are. Collaboration between Project LEAD, the University of WA and research industry partners DeepHerd, Murdoch University and CSIRO is instrumental to plugging the knowledge gap Soil sampling and nutrient analysis are also key to the project. With all of our field experiments, we are heavily focused on characterising the nutrient supply at those sites. So we have a heavy focus on soil sampling. Um, at our long-term sites, we are measuring the surface and profiles annually to track changes over time. And we're also measuring shoot nutrient concentration at each site over each year as well. Um, which allows us to monitor plant nutrient status over time and relate plant nutrient status to soil nutrient supply. University researchers are contributing expertise to help increase grower confidence in fertiliser application. As part of this project we have a postdoctoral research fellow at the University of Western Australia and at the moment he's working on characterising the forms of soil phosphorus in our soils and how that relates to soil supply to our crops. So the laboratory work that we have running at the moment is focusing on residue decomposition. So residue type and environmental factors that affect residue decomposition. It's still early in the project, but updated guidelines and decision support models are expected to be delivered towards the end of 2021 and 2022. Meanwhile, growers are encouraged to apply new thinking with renewed confidence nutrient supply and greater fertiliser efficiency, nutrient distribution after soil renovation and new in-field soil sampling methods ultimately aimed at boosting crop profitability. At the end of the day this project is really about achieving greater profit so if we have a better understanding of soil nutrient supply we can match our fertiliser inputs better and achieve greater profit from them. Go to the description bar below for the latest information, links and resources.